Okay? Dielectric is a material that I can place inside the gap of the two plates between the inside of a capacitor. It's an insulating material. that is placed in the gap between the two plates of a capacitor. <clears throat> An insulating material that is placed in the gap between the two plates of a capacitor. And the reason we do that uh, is to increase its capacitance. To increase its capacitance. And here's the idea why, why its capacitance increases. OK, so let's say there is a positive charge. Here, a negative charge here. OK. And uh, let's say now this, there's a certain material here that has some molecules in there. Let's say for simply sake, let's say the dielectric is water, OK? So the H2O molecule, right? Uh, H2O molecule, we know water is what? Uh, it has hydrogen, hydrogen, oxygen. This is plus charge, plus charge, this is negative two charge. Right? So it's got the, uh, the electric field coming this way and the electric field coming this way. It's a dipole uh, moment, and we'll talk about this on uh, next time a little bit more. The, wa the water molecule is lined up so that uh, this side here is more, sorry, it should be this way, positive that way, this, uh, positive this way. You study a little bit, uh, you study a little bit of this in chemistry, right? The water molecule is lined up so that the, ox, the two hydrogens are positive, and it has a dipole moment uh, towards the positive side like this. And sometimes the easier version of this, they just draw it like this, with the hydrogen here, with the oxygen here. This is the, the positive end, this is the negative end. Like that. This is the easier version of that, but really what's going on, is there's a dipole moment going that way and a dipole moment going that way. And uh, the effective total dipole moment of the molecules uh, this way. So let's say we have a molecule inside of the capacitor. Now what's going to happen? Now the hydrogens are attracted to the negative side, right? The oxygen are, is going to be attracted to the positive. So the molecule is going to line up like this. The hydrogen is going to be here. The two hydrogens are there, right? And then oxygen is going to be down here. So it's going to be positive that, uh, the, the positive end of the molecule is that way, the negative end of the molecule is that way, right? And the water molecule itself creates a little electric field, positive to the negative, right? It creates its own electric field. This way. But the external electric field of the plates is that direction, right? The electric field, the electric field of the plates is this way. The water molecule lines itself up so that the, uh, the hydrogen is attracted to the negative and the oxygen is attracted to the positive and its electric field is down. So the hydrogen's electric field is fighting against the, uh, the electric field of the plates, right? So what's going to happen, the electric field of the plates is going to diminish by a certain factor, OK? The electric field, uh, the, new, the new electric field uh, between the plates is going to equal to the electric field, the original electric field. Uh, we can say it this way, the electric field of the volume divided by the dielectric constant kappa of the material, of the whichever uh, dielectric material we use. So that's the idea. The dielectric is a material that is that polarizable, 
you can't really ha get current to run through it. It can't be totally conducting. Because right? if it's totally conducting, like a piece of metal, then the positive, negative charge will just flow and ionize the positive charge, and psh, you have no longer a capacitor. So you can't take two capacitors, you can't take two plates and put a piece of metal there. It's no longer a capacitor. You've got to put some material that does not allow the flow of electron, but it is polarizable. The material is polarizable. So it gets polarized, and its electric field heights against the electric field of the uh, plates, and the electric field of the plates decreases by a factor of kappa. Okay? Then, if the, if the electric field decreases by a factor of kappa, the potential difference will also decrease by a factor of kappa. Okay, the potential difference will decrease by a factor of kappa. And the capacitance, therefore, is equal to uh, Q over delta V, right? So what happens is the new capacitance of the capacitor, by placing the same amount of charge on the capacitor, right? So let's say I have a battery here that is a plus charge of the battery is right here. So the plus charge of the battery is here, the mi minus charge there. So I'm placing the same potential, I'm, I'm placing the same potential, I'm pl placing the same charge on the capacitor, okay? But placing the same charge, the potential difference of, of the capacitor is new. The new potential difference is less than if I just had vacuum. So then what happens delta V nu is going to equal delta V vacuum over K. Therefore, the kappa goes up to the top Therefore, the capacitance of a capacitor that has a dielectric in there increases. Okay? So, okay? So, the formula then becomes C with the dielectric becomes kappa C with a vacuum. Well, if the C increases by a factor of K, and if I have the same charge, okay, uh, then the potential energy decreases. Or if I look at the formula this way, if I have the same potential and I put a, a capac uh, if I put a dielectric, its energy increases. So let me let me look at two scenarios and look and uh, see what the difference is. Okay? Let me explain two scenarios. Okay, scenario number one, scenario number two. Let's say I take a let's say a nine volt battery and I hook it up to a capacitor. Right now, uh, don't worry about what the shape of the capacitor is. Let's just say it's parallel plate. It really doesn't matter if it's spherical or cylindrical or parallel plate. We can just use this symbol as the general symbol for a capacitor. So let's say I have a 9-volt battery, and I, this is vacuum. And let's say I keep the 9-volt battery connected. Now, all of a sudden, I take a, uh, some water and pour it in that capacitor, okay? Or I could take some other kind of dielectric material, and I put it in there. So, bring.